Hi there, I'm Daniel from Buy the Brush Miniatures and today I'll be showing you how you can paint magical effects on your miniatures. First, before we get into this video, I would just like to apologise for the lack of videos that we've been doing recently, but now we should be uh, we should be moving back to the regular uploads that we were used to before. So you will be using different colours to what I'm using based on what colour you actually want the magic to be and it'll be different for each uh, for each mini that you have it on but as you can see for this example I'll be using blue so just replicate this using paints of different colours but similar tones or if the magic that you're painting is blue you'll be fine to just use these paints so first you're going to want to have a base colour and for this I'm using Thousand Suns Blue it should be just a fairly neutral colour not too bright, not too dark but then after that you're going to want a slightly darker colour. Here I've got Stegadon Scale Green. It's quite a dark blue, but that'll be perfect for what I need it for. Then after that, you're going to want something slightly brighter than your base colour. And for this, I'm using Araman Blue. And uh, just because it's only slightly brighter than Thousand Suns, but it's still noticeable. And then after that, you're going to want a very bright tone. And for this, I'm using Baharoth Blue. So first, you're just going to want to start with that base colour. For me, Thousand Suns Blue. And for this, I'm going to be painting it on this swirly texture here. And there's nothing too much special about this paint. We're just going to be applying it very normally all over the place you want to apply this effect. So once that's had time to dry, we're going to be taking our dark tone, Stegadon Scale Green for this example, and with this, we're just going to want to water it down uh, uh, very uh, more than usual, but uh, to the point where it's pretty much a wash, but not quite there, because obviously it's a base paint, but just load your brush with a very large amount of water, and then probably needs a bit more. If it starts like pooling at the end when you drag it around like this then that's about the right amount that it needs to be. So once you've done that you're just going to want to apply this all over it and it'll just add some really nice depth, add some nice dark tones to the recesses. And now next we're going to want to be using a slightly lighter tone which in this case for me is Araman Blue and this is going to be a dry brush but not uh, like quite a light dry brush but still not like extremely light just want to add some more depth to this quite subtly so finally we're going to be doing a very similar thing with a uh, very light tone Baharoth Blue in this example and this is just going to be a very light dry brush just to add that little touch at the end to add just that last bit of depth to make it more visually interesting to look at. You're going to want to be very light with this as it is a very eye-catching colour as it's significantly brighter than the others. You're going to want it to be quite targeted as well to avoid putting too much of it on. And that is the final result. Now, it'll be slightly different for you depending on what colours and paints you used. But that is the technique complete. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to support us, you can go check out our Patreon. And we also have a Discord where you can talk to other hobby doers like you and me. But with that all being said, I'll see you next time.